Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Thank you for tuning in. As you may notice, I'm back in my office. Some students are back in school right now and some are still online. Both are okay. Everybody's made the choice that's best for their family. So I want you all to know I'm still going to be making videos for you and everyone, whether you're in person or virtual and you're staying home, this is how I will continue to do the lessons for everybody. So everybody's getting the same thing. You're not missing out on anything if you're at home, okay? There'll still be videos for people who are in school and at home and they will be the same. All right, let's get into our lesson. In our last lesson, we learned that it's normal and okay to make mistakes. We might have strong feelings when we make a mistake, and it's another time to use our calm down steps. Stop, name your feeling, calm down. <laughs> Today, we are going to talk about something called anxious feelings. Feeling anxious is like feeling worried. It happens to everyone. You might feel your heart beat quickly when you're anxious or worried or nervous is actually another word that's similar to anxious. It's hard to think and know what to say when you're feeling anxious. So our story today is about Leah and here she is in this picture. Today is a big day for her. She's waiting to present her science project. It's a volcanic eruption demonstration. Look at Leah's face and body. How do you think she's feeling? Yes, Leah is feeling anxious and nervous about presenting to her whole class. Can you think about a time when you felt worried or anxious? Leah uses her stop signal. She names her feeling and does some belly breathing to calm down. At first, she feels better, but then she starts thinking about what could go wrong. She says to herself, I'm not ready for this. I bet this eruption will look stupid and everyone will laugh. Leah is using something called negative self-talk. It made her feel worse and now she wants to hide under her desk. Negative self-talk is when we say things to ourselves that makes us feel worse about everything. Saying things like, I'll probably just fail, or I'm bad at everything, or this day's going to be the worst. I knew this would happen. Negative self-talk makes us feel worse and it is not helpful. It never helps us to keep going or to do a better job. Leah needs to try using some positive self-talk. Positive self-talk is when you say things to yourself to make yourself feel better. You can say things like, it will probably be fine, or I'll just keep trying. Or, it's okay if I don't do it perfectly. I'll just try my best. Positive self-talk is kind of what you would think a mom or a dad would say to you to help you feel better about something. Leah needs to take some more belly breaths and use some positive self-talk so that she can calm down and be ready to present her project. What do you think Leah could say to herself using positive self-talk? Mm, 
maybe she could say, I'm ready for this, or I've practiced this. I worked hard on my volcano. It will be okay. Using positive self-talk is a great way to help yourself calm down and feel better. It's a big part of learning how to handle big, strong feelings. Stop, name your feeling, and calm down. Take those belly breaths and say something positive to yourself. Thank you for joining me for today's lesson. If you like, stick around and watch the Calm Down video. Hey guys, I'm here with some friends today and we're going to show you how to do the Calm It Down dance. It's simple and it's fun. First, let me give you the basics. The chorus goes, stop, name your feeling, calm down. All right, I'm gonna show you the moves that go with that. It is stop, name your feeling, calm down. Good, I'm gonna show you again, here we go. Stop, name your feeling, calm down. Good, now try it with us. All right, here we go. Stop, name your feeling, calm down. Great, and for the rest of the dance, well, just follow along with us. First, I need you guys to get into a robot pose. Ready for some music? Yeah. Pop! Your feeling brain takes hold and you could flip your lid. Stop! You've got to think it through. Just calm it down like this. Stop and name your feeling calm down. Stop and name your feeling calm down. Stop and name your feeling calm down. Every day we can have strong feelings, strong emotions that send us reeling. But there are steps we can take to calm down. These are the keys to turn things around. Just stop and name your feeling. Turn on your brain. Start thinking, not just feeling. Calm it down. Do some breathing. Some counting. One, two, three, four. Calm it down. Use self talk. I can do it, I can do it. And keep thinking. Stop, name what you're feeling now and take some belly breaths. Say good things to yourself. Count and calm the feeling down. Stop and name your feeling calm 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 down. Say someone bumps you when you drop your stuff. You can't think clearly, you're feeling rough. Just say stop, stop. name what you're feeling. Take back your powder, don't hit the ceiling. Stop, name what you're feeling now and take some belly breaths. Say good things it. to I yourself. Can't and calm the feeling down. Stop and name your feeling calm 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 down.